Welcome! In this lesson we are going to explore the exciting world of adding images and graphics to your documents. Visual elements such as images, charts and diagrams can enhance the overall appearance of your documents and make them more engaging and informative. Let's start with adding images to your document. Word allows you to insert pictures from your computer, online sources or even from your own collections such as OneDrive or SharePoint. To insert an image, click on the Insert tab on the ribbon, then select Pictures from the Illustrations group. Browse to the location of the image you want to insert, select it and click Insert. The image will appear in your document, ready for you to resize and position as needed. Once you've inserted an image, you can resize it by clicking and dragging on the corner handles. You can also move it around the document by clicking and dragging it to a new location. If you want to maintain the image's proportion while resizing, hold down the Shift key while dragging. In addition to pictures, Word also allows you to add shapes, icons and other graphical elements to your document. To insert a shape, click on the Shapes button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab, then choose the shape you want to insert from the drop-down menu. I will choose the rectangles. Click and drag to draw the shape on your document. Then use the formatting options on the Drawing Tools tab to customize its appearance. I will draw the button. By double-clicking I will give it a name, like Report. I want to resize it like this, bold it. That's good. Also, I can add a link to this button by right-click on my button. I have to choose here a link and type here, for example, Google address. Click OK. Now, if I want to click on this button, for this I have to hold Ctrl key on my keyboard and click on Report. Now I can see that Google page was automatically downloaded. Perfect! Charts and diagrams are another way to visually represent data or concepts in your document. Word includes a variety of built-in chart types, such as bar charts, pie charts and line charts, that you can easily insert and customize to suit your needs. To insert a chart, click on the Chart button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab. Then select the type of chart you want to insert from the drop-down menu. A blank chart will appear in your document, along with an Excel spreadsheet, where you can enter your data. Let me do some changes up here. For example, it is going to be some products. I will type here bananas, here apples, kiwi and mango. And I can see that all my changes are changing up here in the graph. Also, I can change numbers. I will change it on 7, 5, 6, and I can see that the graph is also changeable. Perfect! It works! Now, if I want to save my document, I click on Save, close it, and will try to reopen it again. Then I will see that bar graph has no Excel table, but I need to make some changes in my graph. How to do this? I have to right-click on the graph, after that choose Edit Data and Excel document will appear below the graph. And again I can change the names or the numbers. Perfect! 
By adding images, graphics and other visual elements to your document, you can make it more visually appealing and easier to understand. In the next lesson we'll explore how to organize and present information in a structured format using tables and lists. Whether you are creating a report, a presentation or a flyer, tables and lists will help you effectively communicate your message and keep your audience engaged. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.